January 4, 2019, my name is Kevin with Pacific Coast Window Company, and in today's video, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this right there, Super Spacer. Super Spacer. What is a Super Spacer? Why do we put them in our windows? Why do we put them in our IG units? What is an IG unit? Well, let me back up a little bit. An IG unit, also known as an insulated glass unit is the two panes of glass. So I have here a quick little sample of an IG unit. So as we can see here, if you pretend like this is a window, sorry for the reflection, I'm trying to, one issue with glass is it gets reflected and you're trying to make a video, you got it reflecting everywhere. So here's a side profile. Right, so if you can imagine that this is a window and this would all be filled in, I'm gonna get my little pointer in there. This would all be filled in with argon gas. So this chamber right in there would be filled with argon gas. And if you see there, you see those little things right there? You see those holes right there? So you see that? That's, that's the spacer. And in there, that is the spacer. That is also known as the super spacer in this case. What is a super spacer and why is it better than other spacers? So I have here, actually I have a couple examples. So I showed you this spacer. This is the Anlin super spacer. Ooh. Uh, and then this is kind of the average spacer you're gonna see in most windows, right? Like we have a metal, right? This is another one, you know, and a lot of times if you look at your windows, and you look inside, you're not gonna see this nice foam one, you're gonna see something like that. Most of us, most of our homes, it's gonna be something like that. If you look in, if you look in between the two panes of glass in your window, you're gonna see something like that, or, you know, maybe like that, or, you know, might look, that's not gonna fit in there. Anyway, you get the idea. So why is this superior? Well, let me just quickly show you. So if I can move the camera. So we have here, this is just a sample, just a rolling display of an Anlin uh, window. This is the uh, Catalina window. And if you see in there, if you look in there, I know, sorry, I know the reflection's kind of bad. I know I've talked about IG units before. I know I've talked about super spacers before. You see that? You see that in there? There's a super spacer. So what happens when you have a window that's facing the sun or is getting exposed to the elements and the sun is hitting it? So what happens is, I'll just kind of use this as my example, kind of adjust things a little bit. So let's pretend, so this is, this is the outside of your home. So this is, this is exposed to the elements. So the sun is coming down and it's hitting this glass. And what's happening is, is when, that's, when that, that glass is heating up, what's actually gonna happen is that glass is gonna uh, contract and expand, expand and contract, expand and contract, expand and contract. Now, you see this? So that's actually butyl rubber, B-U-T-Y-L, butyl rubber. It's actually the same rubber that they use to insulate around the car windshield. Um, so that's actually in there right there. And then this right here, that's the foam super spacer. So the material that this is made out of, this super spacer, is actually, according to my sources, the same material that the space shuttle, when astronauts go into space, they take a rocket ship, they go up in there, they go into orbit. Well, when they have to come back, they come back in that like, uh, like chemical beaker bottle shaped thing. You know what I'm talking about? The, the pod that comes back and it lands in the ocean and they get picked up by an aircraft. Anyway, the, the tiles that, have, that are made uh, on the bottom. So that way when it's coming, when that uh, pod, we'll call it a pod, when it comes through the atmosphere, it gets really, really hot, obviously, um, and it's actually made out of this material. So this came from space. Maybe not. 
not really. Technically, we all came from space, but that's another story, another video for another day. Today, we are here on planet Earth, and we are talking about windows. So, when the sun hits that window, hits that glass, it's going to heat up. It's going to expand and contract, expand and contract. And guess what? If you have a metal spacer, there's going to be no flexibility. So over time, as that glass has these tiny little expansions and contractions, expansions and contractions, expansions and contractions, this metal IG unit is not going to move with the glass. So over time, you are going to get argon gas leakage. So this, as we talked about, this IG unit is filled with argon gas. If it has a metal spacer, like this one, that spacer is not going to flex with the glass as the glass heats up and expands and contracts. And over time, this butyl rubber is, is going to wear out and that argon gas is gonna leak out. Not gonna be an issue with the super spacer. We already know that it can handle extreme heats, right? Because it comes through the atmosphere. It's pretty hot up there. A lot hotter than, than your backyard. Uh, so this spacer is going to move with the glass and you're not gonna get the argon leakage. So that's the super spacer. That's the Anlin super spacer. That's why, generally speaking, for most people, my go-to brand is gonna be Anlin. It's not to say that there aren't other really good brands out there, but in my opinion, um, this, this is pretty awesome. So, Anlin's Super Spacer. We'll talk more about that in other videos. For now, Super Spacer.